Split time, same direction. If you have any experience with poi whatsoever, you've played around with it, you know how useful it is, and you also know how difficult it is to train, especially when we start getting into the realm of things like flowers. So, is there a cheat code? Is there a way for getting down split time, same direction, that is going to be a little bit more smooth than what we usually do? Well, I have a couple exercises I want to show you today that might help you out in that regard. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I'm going to guide you through that tricky world of split time, same direction with a really helpful exercise that's going to help you untangle a whole bunch of different poi tricks in the process. But before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links down in the description of this video. And special thanks to the non-business friend of the channel, Becca Becklinen. Thank you so very much for supporting my channel, my work, and my mission. All right, so I think it's probably uncontroversial to say that split time, same direction is the most useful timing and direction mode for poi when it comes to coming up with stuff that is going to be impressive to an audience. We do isolations in split time, same direction usually, our three beat weaves are in split time, same direction, and even when we graduate to doing things like anti-spin flowers, we're still working in split time, same direction a lot of the time, or at least the version of it that we're most used to thinking of is definitely in split time, same direction. And also this creates a problem for us because we have to get down split time, same direction in all these different locations around our body in order to accomplish these tricks. Now, earlier today I had a really great session with one of my private lesson students, and it specifically revolved around trying to keep split time same direction stable as we are opening up into broad shapes. And it helped me realize that one part of getting down split time is just getting the timing down, that whole one, two, one, two thing, but also managing to work in such a way that you can keep that timing going even as your arms spread far apart. Because of course this is a basic building block for getting things down, like like our flowers as well as our linear isolations. And it turned out that there was a really simple exercise that I could give her to help her improve in this regard. So let's take a look at what that is. So this is going to start off with you performing a little buzzsaw with your poi. And it really doesn't matter if it's a forwards or reverse buzzsaw, that's up to you. But you're just going to keep those poi spinning between your arms like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to practice opening up with one arm, creating a really big circle, and then coming back around to join that buzzsaw once again. If you look at this from dead on, what I'm doing is I'm reaching out and around and coming back in. I'm switching my hand to uh, spinning the poi out in wheel plane on my side and then bring it back around into buzzsaw plane. So each hand individually starts in buzzsaw, switches to wheel, and then comes back into buzzsaw. Like so. You can think of it as basically being kind of like uh, performing a two beat weave here, where my hand is going big on one side and it's staying small on the other side. And I want to practice this with each hand individually. So more than likely, if you're trying this exercise out for the first time, you're going to discover that you're going to get in either extra beats with the hand that's going big, or you're just going to lose your timing entirely as you go through it. Why is that? So the reason here comes down to something that I like to refer to as beat control. And it's a really, really essential element when we want to be able to keep our timing and direction consistent when we're going between big and small. Namely, we have to make choices about when we complete a poi beat and when we don't. So as we're going around here, there's two things that have to happen in order to make this exercise successful. The first is that whichever hand is going big is going to have to move around in that big circle a little bit faster faster than it probably wants to. And the hand that's staying small is going to have to slow down its movement just a little bit. In fact, if you take a really quick look, you're going to see that I'm changing the speed of the poi that stays in buzzsaw just a little bit as I'm going around with the hand that's going big, like so. It's the difference between one, two, three beats versus one, two, three, one, two, three. 
Notice how the uh, tempo changes just a little bit there. So your first order of business is to see if you can keep your split time same direction stable as you go back and forth between going big and going small, like so. If uh, you want to just hang out here for a few beats before you go big and then hang out for a few beats before you go big, that's totally fine. But ultimately, you want to be able to switch back and forth between which hand is going big and which is staying small, like so. And keep your timing and direction consistent throughout the entire move. But wait, he says, there's more. Because if we take this exercise to its logical conclusion, we wind up coming up with something that I like to refer to as a flower sweep. It's this right here, and it involves sweeping one hand past the other as they perform flowers. So let's work our way up to it. Okay, so the piece of this that we already know is we start in a buzzsaw, we reach out big, we reach out big, yes? Well, we can also pause in the middle of reaching out big and kind of splay ourselves out here in wall playing with our two poise spinning split time same direction, which being able to maintain this in and of itself is a good exercise for us to maintain too. So once we've opened up, I can then bring my right hand around boom to meet up with my left hand. And now I'm doing a little reverse buzzsaw over here on my left hand side. And then right hand goes big and we pause with both of the poi and split time same direction once again, and then the left hand goes big to join back up with the right. So you could practice doing, say, like three beats in each spot. Three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, to finish things off. But you want to go through each of these four positions. Over to the right, spread open, over to the left, and spread open once again. And of course, you can work your way down to just doing one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two beats in each spot. And when that gets to feel comfortable, we just do one, 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 as we take ourselves all the way around. The ultimate step is just to not even bother to stop as we sweep from side to side. Have that left hand out and we sweep the right hand around, then we sweep the left hand around, sweep the right hand around, sweep the left hand around. And look at that, we have arrived at our flower sweep. Pretty cool, huh? And just as an added bonus, one thing that this helps you build up to is if you can keep your hands together, you wind up in what's called a buzzsaw flower, taking your hands around in together same while the poise spin in split time same direction. Think of this as kind of the ultimate expression of this exercise and being able to keep that split time same direction going solidly as your hands travel around with it. But for today's purposes, you can also think that just going back and forth in these flower sweeps is a good enough job. Because at this point, you've gotten a really, really good grasp on being able to keep split time same direction going consistently, going back and forth, not only across different sides of you, but also going back and forth between circles of different sizes with your hands. So go forth, and I hope this helps you with your split time same direction. Did you get anything out of this video? Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help other people find it and to help my channel grow. This video would not be possible without my amazing supporters on Patreon. In particular, I'd love to give a shout out to my Flow patrons who are listed on screen right now. Thank you so much, you all rock. And if you out there watching are not currently a supporter, but you'd like to become one, that is, you like this work that I do and you'd like to see more of it, easy way to do that. Head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards, but even better than that, you'll be helping me out in my mission to bring poi spinning and flow arts to the whole wide world. So go check that out, please and thank you. And if you'd like to learn more about getting down that one two one two timing that is absolutely essential to all split timing, uh, I will include a link to a video I did teaching just that concept. Uh, I'll include it up on screen as well as down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to get out and flow yourself today, and I'll see you with a new video real soon. Take care now. Peace.